All right, so to transcend the limitations then of the human ego, so consciousness research, one of its benefits is it gave us a way to access information not otherwise available. The infinite field of consciousness then, which is a radiance of divinity, is uh, comparable to a giant electromagnetic field. The spiritual dimension is comparable, infinite dimensions. The, the power of God is infinite. All right, so by our choice, by our own options of choice then, we determine, you might say, uh, our spiritual charge. See, we might picture that we're a little uh, piece of uh, metal uh, fragment. And every choice you make uh, influences your polarity. And therefore, where you are in the infinite field is the automatic consequence of choices, the collective consequences of all the choices that you've made throughout time. You become that which you have chosen, and within an infinite field of power, impersonally, you are drawn and pulled to that area of the electromagnetic field. Therefore, you don't need an arbitrary, judgmental God because the justice of God is absolutely perfect. Nothing happens and nobody goes any place other than by their own choice. There's nobody paddling the canoe but us. <laughs> you can't blame it on God. See, the anthropomorphic God was angry and jealous and all. Uh, it comes out of sort of primitivism. Primitive man saw volcanoes and floods and all, and he postulated angry gods. And so they sacrificed maidens and et cetera to satisfy the angry gods. Yeah, maidens were always a favorite. Maidens, innocent maidens were the favorite for some reason. A grizzled old guy doesn't seem to be much of a sacrifice, right? <laughs> <laughs>